Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Out Podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat, and I have a rant to jump in for you today. But before we jump in, thank you to everyone who jumped on our live last night with uh, the one and only Ben Daniel. We had over 350 people in the room at one point and consistently over 300. So we thank you for your support of our channels and thank you for jumping on with us. Please be sure to like, subscribe and follow. And also, of course, be sure to jump on over to Rudy's Rant and subscribe over there as well. Did you even know that Juju Watkins was playing today? Did you? I, I have a genuine question. Did you know? Because I didn't know. I did not realize I saw no advertisement of this game against Ole Miss, number three versus number 20, in Paris, no less. I had no idea. You know, when I found out, when I sat in front of my computer and I turned, I clicked ESPN.com and I see, oh, wow, USC is playing right now against Ole Miss. That's when I found out. And that was around uh, halftime of that game. Did not know that game was happening. Did not know. Did you know? Because you know what we would we would have known last year is we would have known if Caitlin Clark was playing. Last night when Ben and Daniel and I were talking about uh, Caitlin and Clark and there was a question that came on the board asking us what what makes her special or why is she so special, blah, 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 blah. Um, and it was, it was something to the, 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 the words of a generational talent. She is a generational talent. She's a lifetime talent. She is once one, a, a, an athlete in women's basketball that we have never seen before. We have never seen anyone like Caitlin Clark, and we probably won't see anyone like her for the very for the next decade. If you see someone like her in the next decade, you I would be shocked. But there's a narrative that's been pushed around, and I have all the respect in the world for Juju Watkins. Watkins but there's a narrative being pushed around that Juju Watkins is the next Caitlin Clark. No, she's not. That's literally the definition of generational because generations are not a year apart. Generations are not a year apart. Juju Watkins is a very good basketball player. Juju Watkins is going to be a great basketball player. Heck, she might be a great basketball player right now. She had a great freshman year. Congratulations to her. She is not Caitlin Clark. She does not have the cachet of Caitlin Clark. She does not draw the eyes that Caitlin Clark draws. This game against Ole Miss was being played in Paris in an 8,000 seat arena. If that arena had 2,500 people in it to see this game, that would be a high count. The building was empty. The entire end zone on one side was totally empty. The upper deck was completely curtained off. Don't know how many people were on the, the side of the camera because you can't really see it, but there were empty seats throughout the side where you could see. The place was empty. Similarly to every game, almost every game that Juju Watkins played last year, she did not draw a crowd. She is not Caitlin Clark. She is not generational. She's a very good basketball player who falls in line with pretty much every other player that we've seen before in college basketball who is supposedly great but yeah based on a curve based on women's basketball sure she's great she's great she does not draw the attention that caitlin clark draws even though they are trying so very hard to tell you that she will they have that game against connecticut that they're they've been marketing already on on december 21st which will also compete against college the college football playoff will also compete with NBA basketball will also complete with compete with the NFL because there will be NFL games on that Saturday. There always are, there always is. And this game, as a game, from what I saw, was tremendously underwhelming. It was a it was a clinic of bad basketball. Ole Miss was down 15 and came back and took the lead in the, in, in the fourth quarter. Ole Miss had a chance to win the game, except Ole Miss kept on fouling. They were up four. They blew the lead because USC got a bunch of free throws. And then what ends up happening? Ole Miss has the ball, inbounds the ball, gets it stolen on the inbound, turns into two free throws, and that's your ball game. USC wins 68-66. 
Ole Miss does not even get a shot off to try to tie the game. They shot 29.7% from the field. Ole Miss did. They actually shot better from three than they did from two. Seven for 23 from three, 30.4%. That means they were 15 of 51 from two. That's utterly terrible. 15 of 51. They shot 29.4% from two. That is, they had one player, Kennedy Todd Williams, who was two for 18. Two for 18. Yet they had the lead with under a minute left. USC. 26 turnovers, 26. They shot 40%. They were 9.1% from three. They were one for 11 from three-point range. They lived at the free throw line in the fourth quarter. 26 turnovers. Juju Watkins goes eight for 19, one for four from three, 10 of 12 from the line. She has 27 points, 10 rebounds. But get this one, nine turnovers and four assists. She also had five blocks and three steals. Nine turnovers and four assists. She's not a point guard. She's probably not handled the ball as much as she was because she just lost them. I mean, I watched her just fumble the ball away. It's funny, they said she had eight turnovers and she immediately turned the ball over a ninth time. She almost had a triple-double, including turnovers. She's a really good player. She's a really good player. You're not going to sit here and you're not going to tell me that she is the next Caitlin Clark. To even mention her and Caitlin Clark in the same breath sentence is insane. It's ridiculous. It's blasphemous. It's outrageous. It, it, there's nothing that puts these two in the same category. They want to build up this sport. I understand. They want they want so bad to create another Caitlin Clark who's you know, but but they're not going to. I, did you know about the game? I didn't know anything about this game. Like I said, I I found out when I put ESPN.com on. Saw no commercials on TV. ESPN did not market it, yet it's on ESPN. You, you can't tell me that, that this is that this is what we're doing here. You cannot tell me this is what we are doing here. Like, nah, bruh, no. Not a chance. Not a chance. Caitlin Clark last year, season opener, was in front of 55,000 plus people. Her season opener. Every game she played, was in front of a full house. They played a school named Clark. I don't know what school that is. It's probably one of those NIA, NAIAs or Division two or three schools, like those exhibition level games that they play early on um, in this in the, in their season. Let me pull it up again. Um, why am I not finding this? Okay, here we go. They played this team last year and they had 15,000 people in the building a game that they won by 60 I, I I mean you gotta be real a game they won by 60 it is it's it's not even remotely close she's not there, there's no she's not there's no <sighs> Don't tell me that these two are in the same sentence. Don't dare do it. That wasn't even a regular season game, in fact, because that that first game that they I'm pulling it up, that game was actually an exhibition that they won in the football stadium. I'm pulling it up again because I ESPN, of course, as usual, is different. But let me pull this up again. Schedule. 
last season. So it was an exhibition versus DePaul. That was the game that was at the stadium. And they had 55,000. 55,646. 55,646. Then they played a school called Clark University. Where the hell is Clark University? It is in Dubuque, Iowa. It's a Catholic university. How many students go there? They have 1,200 students. I don't even know what level they play at. Probably NAIA, as I expected. And they had 14,998 people in that building. 14,998 people in that building. You are not going to tell me that these two are in the same conversation. And then they got their season started, and every game they played was played in front of a packed house, whether they were at home or on the road. To compare these two is is comparing apples to oranges. It, it just is. You're comparing apples to oranges. It's a different. It's just a different dynamic. It's a different, it's a different world. You have, a, you, first of all, this is just bad basketball. Um, shooting, a team shooting 29.7% and having a chance to win. And then you have another team committing 26 turnovers and they won. This is an example of brutally bad basketball. And Juju Watkins, for as good as she may be, she doesn't have the drawing power. You think if Caitlin Clark played in Paris, they would have drawn 2,500 to the game? Place would have been full. Place would have been full. I, 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 this is this is what we talk about, and we and we and, and you know we 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 can do what we do and say what we say and blah 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 blah. Juju Watkins is not on the same level as Caitlin Clark, and they need to understand that real quickly. They also need to understand that if they want to try to get her there, they need to be pushing her down our throats on ESPN all day, every day. And they're not doing that. They're not doing that at all because I didn't know the game was on today. Had no idea. None. Clueless to it. Clueless to it. That place was empty. And it was bad basketball. Don't tell me these two are in the same, and even in the same conversation, they're not. They're not. I wish Juju Watkins the best, but they are paint, putting her in a in a they are painting a picture for her that she will not be able to deliver on. They will not be able to. I mean, it, it's not it's not a deliverable that they can make. Yeah, I just want to jump on here and mention and talk about this because I just watched this the last you know quarter or so. This game it was awful basketball, and it's an empty building. It's an empty building. So you let me know how Juju Watkins is in second coming of Kit. The second coming of Caitlin Clark, when obviously we use the term generational, generational stuff means it's not happening anytime soon again. So that's what I got. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one. This is Rudy's Rant. We practice facts over feelings. Power to come on now the podcast. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Become a member. We are going to have a, mem a new membership level for her. Uh, 199, where we're gonna do member chats only. So member lives. Let's so jump on board so we can start doing that in the very near future. Appreciate y'all. Have a great day.